Good evening. Good evening and welcome to the Lawrence City Commission meeting. Um, welcome everybody on uh, election day and hope everybody got out and um, cast ballots today. It's a, it's a wonderful time in Lawrence and Douglas County, I know, and there's um, a lot of folks that are running and uh, spent a lot of time and effort in, in making sure that they got their message spread. So hope everybody uh, got out and, and voted and you still have two hours. So. First item on the agenda is the consent agenda. All matters listed on the consent agenda are to be considered under one motion and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion on those items. If discussion is desired, that item will be removed from the consent agenda and will be considered separately. Item number 10, which was a special use permit for 12th and Haskell Recycle Center, has been deferred until uh, September, or September, yeah. Uh, until April 28th, 2015. So anyone who's here for that item, uh, please understand that will be back on the agenda on April 8, uh, 28th. Are there any items on the consent agenda that a member of the commission would like to have removed for separate consideration? Item seven, please. Item seven. Any other items that a member of the commission would like to have removed? Or bond? Okay. Any other items? I would like item number two for vote on the claims. Is there any item on the consent agenda that a member of the public would like to have removed for separate consideration? Okay. Hearing none, then with the exceptions of item number two, the claims, item number seven, which is the special event permit for the Kansas Food Truck Festival uh, on the west side of the 800 block of Pennsylvania Street. And item number 15, which is to approve as many as signs of community interest for Shirley signs to place signs in the right of way at 6th Street and George Williams Way for Wednesday, April 10th of 2015 to Monday, April 20th. Uh, so with those three items, I would entertain a motion for approval. Do we need, we don't need to take an action on uh, the special uh, use permit though. No, we do it's, not. it's automatically done. So items number two, seven, and 15, with the exception of those three items, I would entertain a motion for approval. Move. Second. Motion made and second for approval, made by Commissioner Shams, seconded by Commissioner Dever. Any other questions or comments? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? That passes 5-0. Next item is item number two, which are the claims. The first is to approve claims to 506 vendors. The amount of two million three hundred and twenty-six thousand six hundred and thirty-one dollars and twenty-nine cents. Entertain a motion for approval. Second. Motion made and second for approval. Made by Commissioner Shum. Second by Commissioner Reardon. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed. Passes five zero. We have uh, claims to two vendors at Rock Chalk Park related items in the amount of nine thousand one hundred ninety-five dollars and ninety-three cents. Entertain a motion. Moved. Second. M motion made and second for approval. Commissioner Shum, uh, second Commissioner Dever. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Passes 4-1. Mayor Erickson, dissension. David, we have an item or um, uh, a manual uh, uh, check total a man to a manual one. We have to do that one separately also? If you didn't include it in your first one, yes, you do, sir. Okay. Was that included in the first one or separate deal? Okay. Entertain a motion to uh, one vendor, the amount of $640.38. So moved. Second. Motion made and second for approval. Made by Commissioner Reardon, second by Vice Mayor Farmer. All in favor of that motion, aye. 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 Opposed? That passes 5-0. And the final is uh, payroll in the amount of two million sixty nine thousand eight hundred and eight dollars and ninety seven cents. So Continue. moved. Second. Motion made and second for approval. Made by Commissioner Reardon, second by Vice Mayor Farmer. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed. That passes five zero. Item number seven. Uh, Vice Mayor is asked to have it pulled. Approve a special event permit for the Kansas Food Truck Festival on vacant property on the west side, 800 block of Pennsylvania Street on uh, Saturday, May 2nd, 2015, submitted by the Cider Gallery LLC. So we're a beneficiary, Just Food is, and since I work there, I'm gonna recuse myself. From Please. This okay. Questions or comments? No. Public comment on this item. Hearing none, I would entertain a motion for approval of item number seven, the special use permit. 
Second. Motion made and second for approval made by Commissioner Sean. Second by Commissioner Reardon. All in favor of that motion, aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Passes 5 0. Uh, next item is item number 15 to approve as uh, signs of community interest, a request from Shirley Signs to place signs in the right of way, again, at 6th Street and George Williams Way from Wednesday, April 10th to Monday, April 20th for the Kansas Relays. Bob, you had a question? Just when you look at, <coughs> pardon me, when you look at the, uh, the diagram they sent you from the sign company, the, oops, my computer's frozen. From the Sherl Sign Company, is that Yes. Um, those little red dots are hard to see, but they're, it looks like they're in a site triangle, and that's a pretty good sized sign. So it looks to me like you're gonna have a lot of traffic out there for the relays, and, and if we needed to look at that, I just wanted to make sure we were okay with it. Commissioner, thank you for pointing that out. These are the similar signs that were used last year. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure to work with them that they will not be placed in the site triangle. I think that's a good comment. So let's make sure that uh, they're not in any way obstructing the view. Let's make sure that that's done appropriately. Okay, that's all I got. Any questions on that item? Because there'll be lots and lots of traffic out at Rock Chalk Park. Right? <laughs> yeah. There will. People love it. I know. Yeah. Okay. Any public comment on this item? Okay. You entertain a motion for approval of the signs of community interest. Moved. Second. Motion made and second for approval. Made by Commissioner Shum and seconded by Commissioner Reardon. All in favor of that motion, aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. On to the regular agenda. Um, Oh, I deferred that item. I didn't tell you, really? didn't I? I told him yesterday I was going to defer the city manager's report. Oh, really? Yeah, just for grants. Sorry. As if it didn't happen? I'm just going to blow on through it. David, the city manager's report. Good evening, Mayor. Members of the commission, we've got a letter that I'd like to read with your permission. Tonight, uh, April the 7th, the town council of Castle Rock, Colorado, which meets twice a month, is scheduled to consider an employment agreement under which I will begin service as town manager on June 1st, 2015. I'll be providing notice and resigning my position as city manager of Lawrence prior to that date. Serving the citizens of this community for nearly a quarter of a century has been the privilege of a lifetime. In 1980, 35 years ago, in August, I drove up to Lawrence from Wichita to attend University of Kansas. In November of 1990, I began my work in this building. Over the years, I can certainly point to a number of projects and programs in which I take pride. However, and most importantly, it's not the projects and the programs, but the people and relationships that have, have and will mean the most to me. There's never a good time to leave. My desire to break ground on future businesses at, at Venture Park, drive the completed South Lawrence traffic way, and continue to work with our excellent staff on numerous other projects and assignments. All of these and more certainly pull to keep me here. However, this opportunity for professional and personal reasons is the right position at the right time. Closer to some family, as Sarah and I begin life as empty nesters, and the unique challenges of a new community provide the pull to go west. I leave confident that Lawrence is in very sound shape, and its best days are definitely ahead of it. Between now and the end of May, you will have my best efforts to ensure a smooth transition and continued focus on City Commission priorities. There will be a few opportunities to celebrate with colleagues and friends. I think we have scheduled a reception on, on May the 11th. Most importantly, I will also have the opportunity to express my appreciation for the support my family and I have enjoyed during our time here. I certainly express my appreciation to this city commission for your support, and I look back proudly at the considerable improvements which we have made to the community we love. I also want to publicly thank my wife, Sarah, and her daughters, Emily, Catherine, and Laura, for their support and love. It would only be appropriate uh, to conclude my remarks with a quote. I do love quotes. Um, it's from a wiser man than any of us, Abraham Lincoln. 
I like to see a man proud of the place in which he lives. I like to see a man live so that his prowess, so that his place will be proud of him. With best wishes for Lawrence, I remain sincerely yours, David Corliss. Thank you for letting me read the letter, Mayor and Commissioners. Um, we'll look forward to a, a number of opportunities to uh, say goodbye in, in, in the coming weeks. And um, I very much appreciate the opportunity to uh, speak before you this evening. Thank you. David. It's an amazing you know somebody that uh, had the opportunity to hire you uh, and and truly make a, um, a decision that I, I think was uh, uh, one of the best decisions that I've made in Lawrence Kansas as I look back and I see your fingerprints all over things uh, you have a quote about fingerprints being on uh, 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 things and, and I always like that, but you know, really, you've made Lawrence, Kansas, a much better place. Something that um, uh, we're all very proud of. Um, we'll go through a process of hiring a new city manager, but in no case is it ever going to be one that will replace you because I don't think we can do that. To uh, you, I thank you for making me look smarter than I ever was. Um, Sarah, it's going to be great living by your folks. And I know one thing, I always got a place to stay when I get there. Sure. <laughs> you got a tough job, kiddo. You got to take care of these two. Yes. But, but we appreciate the, the work that the, uh, not only Dave, you as city manager, but the Corliss family has done in Lawrence, Kansas. It's an incredible place because of you all. Thank you all. Thanks. Anyone else? Uh, Bob. Well, <clears throat> I've had the opportunity to serve with three different city managers. <clears throat> and Dave was uh, an intern or beginning his uh, career with the city last time I served 25 years ago. And um, I just can't tell you what a magnificent, talented person he is and how much he gets done. And for us, it's a real loss. For Castle Rock, it's a huge, huge gain. Understand why the move is uh, taking place. And I know I've had conversations with you about that. And uh, for you, it's a good move at this time. But for Lawrence, uh, we're going to have to work really, really hard to find the talent that we're going to lose with this uh, transfer. So anyway, I've always been amazed at the professionalism that uh, you've exhibited. I'm amazed at um, the quality of our employees. That's a reflection of the manager over them, how they encourage them and how they uh, incentivize them and just the ability to recruit the right kind of people. So that's the mark of a, an excellent city manager, somebody who has uh, 800 plus employees that are all pulling in the right direction at the right time and, and providing a, uh, a wonderful work product for our citizens. As I've said before, I have received in the last four years, I've received maybe one or two citizens' complaints on service. Maybe not that, I don't know. That is so unusual for a city that is very active and, and a city that uh, is served by so many city employees and the different services we provide. So my conclusion is, You've been a great city manager. I know you're going to continue to be a great city manager, and we're going to miss you. Congratulations. Well, I've only been here two years, um, but I've benefited by this relationship. Um, I've counted on this relationship, and it depends on the future, whether as a private citizen or as a city commissioner, I will judge future city managers in your shadow and that's a hard one to follow 
Um, I don't have much to say that hasn't been said, but, um, you know, serving eight years, I think you learned a lot as being a leader during most of that time. And um, I learned a lot from you. And the city is a far better place because of you and your family. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Got some big shoes to fill with yours, not just literally. Uh, um, and I, I, I've had um, the privilege of probably annoying the hell out of you for the last two years. And for that, I apologize. Hopefully, there's nobody like me in Castle Rock. Uh, but I certainly know there's nobody like you there. And uh, they're going to be. They're going to be incredibly uh, blessed to have you and your family in that community and the vision that you're going to bring to their downtown and to their community and helping to, you know, inform the commissioners on on possibilities. You know, um, you've said this a lot here that that you don't you don't really say no to us very often. You find ways to get to yes. And that's why there's so many cool things going on in this community. And um that's what I'm going to miss the most about having you here. Uh, and that's what I know that Castle Rock is going to um, gain in having you there, is you'll find ways to accomplish some really cool stuff and put them on the map just like you have Lawrence. And, uh, you know, when you get famous and start doing that in Colorado and jump out of the shadow of liberal Lawrence and conservative Kansas and put them on the map, just send us a postcard. You all have been very kind. Um, when we have the party, you all don't need to say all of these things again. So very much appreciate it, and um, we'll uh, keep working hard here the next uh, six, seven weeks. And uh, uh, the, the, the best news in all of this is that uh, you've got great staff that uh, we, won't, we won't miss a beat, and uh, I'm, I'm very excited about that and very excited about Lawrence's future. I just, uh, as, I, as we've been thinking about this move and driving around town and seeing stuff. We're just uh, constantly enthused about uh, the, the direction that this community is headed. So thank you all for your wonderful comments. Again, when we when we have the party, we'll just all say thank you and hug and and uh, do all of that and, and have good reminiscences. So thank you. Thanks, Evan. OK. Then we're on to the regular agenda. Uh, we have one item tonight, and it's to conduct a bond sale to review bids received and approve the issuance uh, and delivery of $90,680,000 water and sewage system improvement revenue bond series 2015 bonds to the best bidder and consider declaring an emergency, <clears throat> excuse me, and adopting on first and second reading ordinance number 9102 authorizing and providing for the issuance of water and sewage bond series 2015 and consider adopting resolution number 21, or I'm sorry, 7111, prescribing uh, the forms and details and authorizing and directing the sale and delivery of water and sewage system improvement revenue bond series 2015. Brian? Yeah, uh, thank you. Pretty exciting stuff here. Um, we had a, a open competitive bid this morning for uh, utility revenue bonds in the amount of $90,680,000. I'll speak to that uh, amount in just a second. As of 10:59, we had zero bids, uh, just to make sure that it was very, uh, make us a little start sweating. Um, as of like 20 seconds before the bid closed, we had six bids. So uh, there was a lot of uh, going on in the market. I, I think the other uh, underwriters were trying to see who's bidding and and putting their mark in there. there uh, we received six bids, which is a, a really good reaction. Of the six bids, one of the bids included a syndicate of 28 banks. Um, and most of those are local, regional type banks. So there was a lot of, go a lot of interest, a lot of going on in making sure you get a good Kansas AA2 rated debt. And the interest rates we received as a result of that really shows that. We went, uh, original estimates from Springstead were 3.5% uh, was our um, estimate several weeks ago. And as you can see, uh, there was a memo that uh, passed around earlier today. The lowest bid was from William Blair and Company for a true interest rate of 3.18%. So this is an excellent rate, uh, 40 basis points under our, uh, our um, 
original estimates. Part of the bid uh, came in as, a, as what they call a, um, a premium, and so they gave us a little bit more money than what we needed uh, so they could market their bonds at a higher interest rate, uh, basically for us to pay it back. And so what we do with that money is we actually lower the amount of bonds we're going to issue to keep the true interest costs the same. So instead of issuing $90,680,000, we are asking uh, the commission to approve eighty nine. Uh, million nine hundred thousand so a little bit less um, again making up that difference in that interest rate um, that the bidders uh, proposed to us part of this process is we went to Moody's for a rating to have them to rate these bonds they came back and affirmed the double A rating that they, that we've had for um, last couple years in their uh, rationale I'll just read this the double a two rating reflects the systems stability which is provided in part by its largest customer, the University of Kansas, solid financial operations and a history of annual rate increases that supports the ongoing capital improvements plan. Uh, in conversations with the analysts after the rating came out, uh, she did really talk about the fact that we have a strong management, um, a history since 2004, that we have a very solid CIP plan for looking down the road for growth, and that we've had this annual review of our rates and if adjusted rates is needed throughout this process. And so they really spoke quite a bit about having that structured TIP and following the plan and um, thereby uh, affirming our AA2. Uh, tonight's action is uh, to review the bids. Uh, I believe that you had those on there. And again, the lowest bid was 3.8 or 3.18 and uh, to authorize the bonds by Considering declaring emergency and adopting ordinance 9102, authorizing and providing for the issuance of the water and sewer system bonds, and then also considering adopting the resolution that prescribes the forms and details of the bonds. So, happy to answer any questions. David. Commissioners, I just want to make sure you understand that this debt is backed solely by the revenue. Uh, that you all generate by adopting the rate ordinances and that the ratepayers pay with their utility bills for water and wastewater. It's not, it's not backed by uh, our general obligation for uh, property taxes. That's why the interest rate is not as good as we would get for geo bonds, which is what you've more frequently seen. And secondly, just wanted, just for your information, it's not directly related to your action that's indirectly related in that we also took bids this afternoon to spend this money that we are going to get for the Walker Russo wastewater treatment plant. We had two bidders. Um, we believe that they're going to, um, that we're going to be able to recommend the, the low bidder. We're still doing a lot of analysis on that because there are a number of alternates that we have to review so that we can continue to get that within our, our rate plan. But we feel confident that we're going to be able to do that and uh, be able to use these proceeds that we will get through this issuance to further that project. That will be something that the Commission will consider probably here towards the end of the month on April the 28th. But it's not directly related to this, but it's, it is um, in the sense that you'll, you're getting this debt, you want to spend it on the project. Okay. Question. Yeah, Bob. So the, uh, the bonds were sold at about uh, 30, what, two basis points below the, the Springstead estimate? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. What what does that amount to in dollars over the life of these issues? That's a great question. A really great finance director would have had that just immediately at his... <laughs> um, Sorry. But you hired me, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to actually do some real quick cipher in here. And then, so, then as you're figuring that out, does that allow us to include more, more of the alternatives, alternates that are more costly because we've saved some money on the finance? Well, let me answer that question, too. So since okay. in the back of my head, I'm still doing that. Um, we, we have uh, the, the pros. We, we've basically come to terms with the bank on <clears throat> The, the amount of the bond issue and the amount of the um, projects that we have authorized. 
Um, we did have a, some premium in there, another couple million dollars that we can use on project. Uh, but my biggest interest was making sure that the debt service on this bond issue was right under uh, what we have in, in the long-term CIP plan or the rate model that we have. What that, what that does though, it does free up to add things in our CIP. Now whether or not we move it up into any alternatives as part of the walk Roos plan, um, I, I think that's certainly possible. The walk Roos plan has been authorized for uh, more money than, we'll, than we've issued. I don't remember the exact dollar figure for the Walker Roos plan that's been um, authorized for, but that is something that could, could, could be discussed. I think we'll be we'll be looking at that, but we, you know, our our primary goal is to get the plant built and get it under the rate plan that we've told the public that we're going to use. So those are going to be our, our guiding stars. And if we're able to save money on this, we may want to keep it as a contingency as we start on that project. We may advise you otherwise what we're going to have to do in regards to making sure that that happens. So we're having to cut portions of the project in order to get it under the rate plan. So this may allow us to do some more, but we'll. We'll be giving you that recommendation later. This is good news. It's just a very large project, and we should, our goal is to get that built so that we can continue to grow and meet the environmental requirements, but then also keep it under that rate plan that we've told the public that we're going to follow. Okay. Also, uh, bond councils did some uh, analysis over there real quick as I was babbling on, um, and the rate differential is about a million and a half savings. To answer your earlier question. Thank you. Other questions? Over 25 years, right? It's a 25 year bond, yes. So, and then <clears throat> the amount that's uh, listed in the ordinance is not to exceed $90 million. So, that, that covers everything that we need to do, right? I think that's correct, right. yes. Okay. Yeah, the, the actual bond size issuance is $89,900,000. Okay. Any other questions, Brian? Okay. Um, public comment. Well, we got some extremely good rates. Thank you. Yes, we did. Uh, thanks for all your work there, Brian. Um, Dave, thank you for all the work uh, that was put together on this. All of our utilities folks and making sure that <clears throat> we are able to um, get the plant built, issue the debt. And as Davis said three times in about a five minute period, being able to uh, meet the, um, um, our numbers on, on costs of uh, delivery of the service. So um, that's where we need to be. So the rate structure is in place. Okay. So we have, as far as I can tell, we have conducted a bond sale. I would declare that an emergency uh, that this is an emergency and that we adopt on first and second reading and we approve ordinance number 9102 authorizing providing for the issuance of water and sewage bond series 2015 and adopt resolution number 7111 prescribing the forms and details of and authorize and direct the sale and delivery of water and sewage system improvement revenue bonds series 2015 would entertain that motion with the emergency. So moved. Second. Motion made and second for adoption and approval. There are adoption on both the ordinance and the resolution. Made by Commissioner Reardon, second by Commissioner Shawn. Any other questions or comments? All in favor of that motion, aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Thank you all very much. 90 million here, 90 million here. <coughs> Next item is general public comment. Is there any general public comment this evening? Okay. Future agenda items. Mayor Commissioners, uh, pursuant to our tradition, uh, we will be doing uh, not anything particularly major on consent <coughs> agenda next week, and then we'll have the uh, swearing in of the new commission and uh, mayoral elections, vice mayoral elections, and then uh, uh, a break, and then uh, probably some training from the city attorney on the Open Meetings Act, and then some calendaring discussion about how we want to start setting up study sessions and other things as we uh, uh, begin orientation, begin talking about priorities, um, and then also begin our budget. So that's 
the plan for next Tuesday, and then we'll uh, uh, be busy with a lot of the items that we've, one of the items that we deferred this evening, and then the, the wastewater treatment plant bids, and a lot of other things as we move through April. Okay. Questions? Okay. Commission items. Okay. Calendar. We got a lot of um, 9th Street quarter um, mm -hmm. workshops coming up over the next two weeks, three weeks. So I know kind of where I'm going to be for a while. Right? Okay. No other calendar items? Gentlemen, it's been a privilege. Indeed. It has been a privilege. Okay. If there's nothing else, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Move. Second. Motion made and second to adjourn, made by Commissioner Shum, second by Commissioner Reardon. All in favor of that motion, aye. 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 Opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you all.